eso ebna da ekosi efia da ena mrashe bedwa fo wonom ekɔ asetena ekɔ bobo o mayi ensam ehu ewo mrashe bedwa fie se se ye de memenda ene ejuoda abeka ho awe no e sha se aye adwuma nya me ya adoma wo kena bosumi de to so adio no baako na woyi ena edom kuma e wo mrashe bedwa fie dia so dwa se ah edie ni we de ye mpene ye jitu mba bia enye ye omo che so mo so ye nipa wo mo ye adwuma ese fata so mo so enya ebre bi na omo de home me me nda baako pe a omo de home no mo sa so mo fa mbra asetena dia eno no o jitu ma enye ye mr speaker for those of them who are saying that we don't need more than 25 to sit in the house, that is if you have to sit, they, they, they should look at the provision of Article 104, one of the Constitution. When we meet here, we take decisions. And decisions must be taken, that are taken must be supported by at least one half of us sitting in the chamber. So we need at least 138 of us to be in the chamber to take a decision. That is constitutional. Unfortunately, the speaker, that provision in the constitution is entrenched. So there's nothing that we can do about it. There's nothing that we can do about it. We cannot have 25 members sitting and taking a decision for on behalf of the house. The speaker, so for those of them who are advocating that we have 25 or less, in the chamber to take a decision, they, they, they would know that it's an attempt to amend the constitution, and that decision, that suggestion itself, is unconstitutional or perhaps a subversion of the constitution. Saturday, Mr. Speaker, in this age and time of Corona, we can add Saturday to the business of this house with all respect. Mr. Speaker, I'm saying that my, he has also referred to bills. What bills? Didn't the ministers know the agency of those bills? Name the bills. The Lions Bill. The Lions Bill. It's a bulky bill. When we start the 10th April, we will not finish. So why will you introduce it? Why didn't you introduce it a month ago? You, conf you confided in me that corporate insolvency. We are giving you every corporation to get it done before 10th April. The other bills we are talking of have not even gone through second reading. So, Mr. Speaker, extraordinary times. As for that, I agree with him that this parliament cannot shut down. We are only saying that don't add Saturday to our better. Let's say Monday, Friday. So it's not a matter of motion. It's a matter of you as chairman of business committee coming to assure Mr. Speaker, if you want, let's go and confer at the back. Myself, I used to confer and come back and expand Saturday, and then we adopt the business statement, the speaker. So let's confer. That's what the speaker prefers. Let's confer.